Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your preview to Newcastle United versus Manchester United in the Premier League. Now, as you know, Newcastle United are my second favourite team, and they're going against my all-time favourite, Manchester United. And this is the only time, obviously, I do not want the Magpies to win, but... Obviously, Newcastle in massive trouble. A championship defence at its very best. I mean, major signings is needed in January. You know, new defenders, otherwise Newcastle, I'm sorry, they'll be in the championship next season. But they definitely need some world-class defenders because their defence is just absolutely fucking dreadful. It really is. It's not great to watch. But as my number one favourite club, Manchester United, well, I don't know what to say really because we've had a couple of weeks off. So hopefully now we've got all our squads back. So this is the lineup I'll go in. In goal, Dan De Gea, right back, Aaron Wambasaka, centre backs, Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, if he's fit enough. But if not, then. Eric Bailey would be a good shout. Then left back, Luke Shaw. Then central defence in field, Scott McTomney. Then in the midfield, Fred, Bruno Fernandes, Jaden Sancho, Marcus Rashford, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Yep, that's the lineup I'll go with now for Manchester United. We really should be getting all three points against Newcastle. No excuses, but it's no guarantees because, you know, we may be a little bit rusty. And, of course, Newcastle being in action more than us, I mean, they could easily get a draw or maybe even a win. But, I mean, come on, Manchester United have got to win this game, surely. Like I said, I do like the Magpies, and this is the only time I do not want them to win is against Manchester United, of course. Of course, I'm going to pick my number one team over my second team any day in the week. It's a bit like my good friend and loyal subscriber, MUSC Racer. Newcastle United is his second favourite team, but he'll always pick Manchester United over Newcastle. you got to, because I've been supporting Manchester United ever since the late 90s, so... You've got to stick with Manchester United through thick and thin, through the good times and the bad times. It's like Newcastle you know, being my second team. I will stick through them. I'll stick with them through the good times and the bad times. But yeah, it's just like both teams really. I mean, both had, they both had roller coasters, I'd say. Because obviously United were so inconsistent under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ralph Ranjak's now come in and we look a bit more defensively solid. But obviously, you know, Newcastle, Sanks, Steve Bruce, they've now got Eddie Howe as manager. So hopefully things will be on the up for Newcastle. But anyway, my score prediction for this one is a 3-1 victory to Manchester United. Yes, you know. I think Ronaldo being a key man again. Bruno Fernandes probably set up Ronaldo. But to me, Bruno Fernandes is not having a great season. I mean, what's happened to him recently? I love Bruno Fernandes. So recently, he's been absolutely horseshit. He has. You've got to say how it is. He's been terrible, Bruno Fernandes. I don't know what's happened. I mean, all right, he's saying shit under Oli because he wanted Oli out. We got rid of Holly, but under Ralph Ranyak, he's not looked so much better either. And to be honest, I think football, I think we're a bit more high pressing, but I'm yet to really see a big improvement under Ralph Ranyak. But one thing, though, is a positive. We are keeping clean sheets, which is what we want. So give Ralph Ranyak a chance for all the players that adapt to his playing style, I believe will be okay. So, kind of sound below, I will always reply. And yes, I'll be uploading this tomorrow on Christmas Eve. 
I'm pre-recording a lot of videos because so I can carry on uploading over Christmas. Nope, I'm not going to be one of them people who take a break over the festive period. I'm going to carry on with doing what I do in what I absolutely enjoy, uploading YouTube videos for you guys. I'm committed. I'm not like one of them big YouTubers think, oh, it's Christmas, I don't care about uploading. Nope, not me. I'm fully committed. It's like, if you're working, right, and you love your job, you'll be fully committed to it. Like this, I do as a hobby, and mainly, you guys enjoy my videos, so that's why I'm going to keep on uploading. Bye-bye.